students today we will start a new topic coordinate geometry in this topic you will revise the concept of coordinate plane you will learn what is linear equation how to draw a graph of linear equation and how to calculate gradient and y intercept from a given straight line equation by dividing vertical change with horizontal change Look at this coordinate plane. You can see it has two scales, one running across the plane called the x-axis and another at a right angle of it is called the y-axis. The point where the axis cross is called the origin and at this point both x and y are zero. Now on this x-y coordinate plane, you can see on the x-axis values to the right are positive and those to the left are negative. Whereas on the y-axis values above the origin are positive and those below are negative. Now look at this equation. y is equal to mx plus c. This is a general form of linear equation. This is also called a slope intercept form of equation where m is slope and c is the y intercept. We can use this form of a linear equation to draw the graph on the x y coordinate plane. Now dear students, in the next video you will learn how to draw a line graph and how to calculate gradient. Watch this. 2x plus y equal to 4 is a linear equation. As it is linear, its graph will be a straight line. How do we plot the graph though? To draw any line, we need a minimum of two points. And to find the points, we can substitute different values in place of x and get corresponding values for y. Let's say x is 1. y will be 4 minus 2, which is 2. 1 comma 2 will be the coordinates of one of the points. Now let's try x equal to 2. We get the value of y as 4 minus 4 which is 0. So 2 comma 0 will be the coordinates of the second point. With these two points we can easily draw a line for this equation. On the coordinate plane where will 1 comma 2 be located? 1, 2. Here this will be 1 comma 2. Similarly, 2 comma 0 will be located here. And this is the line of 2x plus y equal to 4. Just to verify if this line is correctly drawn, take another point on the line and see if it satisfies this equation. Take this point for instance, 0 comma 4. If we substitute 0 in place of x and 4 in place of y, we do get a 4. It satisfies the equation. There is an interesting way to write this equation. We can transpose 2x to the other side and write it as y is equal to minus 2x plus 4. But how does it make a difference? Why write it this way? Writing the equation this way gives us two important things. First, it gives us the slope. Minus 2 is the slope here. And it gives us the y-intercept of the line. Here 4 is the y-intercept. y-intercept is the point at which the line intersects the y-axis. Isn't it amazing that just writing the equation this way gives us two things straight away? The y-intercept we can see is 4. But let's verify the slope. It's y minus y1 over x minus x1. If we consider these two points, we get 2 minus 0 over 1 minus 2. That gives us minus 2, which is the same as this equation gives us. This is called the slope intercept form. The general form is y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y intercept. Where else can we apply this concept? Look at the next equation. We are asked which quadrants does the line of this equation pass through? Give it a try.
which quadrants does the line of this equation pass through? The best way would be to write this equation in the slope intercept form. Rearranging the terms, we write it as y is equal to 2x plus 7. 2 is the slope and 7 is the y intercept of this line. Let's look at it on the coordinate plane. The y intercept is 7. It will be somewhere here. 0, 7. The slope is positive. So the line cannot be like this or like this. These lines have a negative slope. It has to be tilted in the other way. It will look a bit like this. That's all. We can see that the line passes through the first, second and the third quadrant. We didn't really need to draw the exact line to get to the answer. The slope intercept form was enough to tell us the quadrants through which the line passes. Well students, I hope you got the concept of how to draw a line graph and how to calculate gradient by dividing vertical change with horizontal change. Now look at this question. You have to complete the table of value for the linear equation. y is equal to 2x plus 4. And then you have to draw the graph of y is equal to 2x plus 4 for values of x from minus 1 to 3. And also you will find the gradient of line. Now try to do this question. Well students. So what you will do in this question? First of all, you will complete table of value. X values are given and you will substitute the values of X in the given linear equation to get value of Y. You have five coordinate points A, B, C, D and E. You will locate these points on a grid. You will join these points and you can see you will get a straight line. Now it's time to calculate gradient. I will select two points A and B. A coordinates are minus 1 and 2. B coordinates are 0 and 4. Minus 1 is a x coordinate and 2 is a y. Here in case of B point 0 is a x coordinate and 4 is a y coordinate. Now we will use the formula vertical change divided by horizontal change. y to minus y1 divided by x to minus x1 or 4 minus 2 divided by 0 minus and you can see the value of x1 is minus 1. So by putting these values you will get the gradient and in this case gradient is 2. Now students, it's your turn to do this. You have to practice this sum. Look at the equation. x plus y is equal to 6. The best way to draw a line graph to change this equation in a slope intercept form. So this equation will become y is equal to 6 minus x. Now you will substitute the values of x in this equation and then you will get y values. After this you can easily locate these points on a grid and you will get a line graph. And you can also calculate gradient of this line by using the formula vertical change divided by horizontal change. y to minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And students, you can easily solve this question. In case of any query, you can ask your teacher in a good class.